Yes. Hey there, fellows. All right. You see what I've got here. More transparency in this episode. It's always so much fun. So here's the idea. We made a transparent distributor cap, and some people wrote that this was a thing back in the 90s. I've never seen one, probably because it wasn't my wheelhouse, and so I was never interested in that stuff. Or maybe I was never lucky enough to encounter it, who knows. Anyway, here's what we're doing. That cap turned out lovely, we all got a good view of what's happening inside of it. Yeah, that was really good fun. And this sparked not only our imagination, the audience also got to thinking. So you can clearly see what we have going on here. These are some high-voltage ignition leads, and we also got... I don't remember the colloquial term. It's an infusion line. As for how these play into the theme of today's video, well, they're transparent. Yeah, let's make us some transparent ignition leads. And we're not just going to make them transparent. We'll take a bit of copper wire, which is a tight enough bit for this. So we're going to cut this into little pieces. We need to ensure there's a small gap between them. Then we fit this to an engine and attempt to start it. And we should be able to see how the rotor sends a spark to the contact point and then through the ignition lead, where we'll have small gaps between the copper conductors. We'll make as many of those as we can to get a Christmas tree light effect going. If we are able to get this to work, with the lights off, this is going to look absolutely epic. So yeah, let's dispose of the regular ignition leads and make us a set of glow-in-the-dark wires. Let's do this. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps, and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link, of course, is going to be in the description. We make transparent ignition leads. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check out what we got here. We started by cutting up a bunch of small bits of copper wire. Problem is, the coil doesn't have enough power. It can send a spark as far as 20 mil. But when you've got 8 to 9 gaps, which are 3 millimeters each, for whatever reason, it doesn't come through. Well, I mean, obviously, because the coil isn't up to it. And so here's what we've done. We've gone ahead and fitted an ignition coil for a Zill. A 414 unit. Also, we've installed a contactless ignition system, a switchboard for a front-wheel drive LATAM, and now we should see this work. I mean, at least... We think so. Right, so now I suggest... We go ahead and test this. For the time being, we're only running one modified wire. Yeah, let's see what it does. Come on, fire this thing up. Honestly, with the lights on, you can't see anything. Better adjust the timing. Okay, well... It appears to be a success. We are seeing a bit of misfiring. This is interesting. It's only happening at certain RPM. At some points it's operating more stably.
Maybe we should bring the revs up. No, this won't do. But it looks really cool. Take a look at that. Seems to be fairly stable. Very nice. So apparently we've done something right. Which is quite nice. Switch it off. We've only done one wire so far. Now I suggest we go ahead and do the other three. Finish the job. And hopefully this is a nice thing to look at. Okay, so we've done the rest of them. I mean, we've done up another three of these leads. But the gaps between the copper sections are all over the place. They'll be thrown around quite a bit just by the engine vibration. But that's to be expected, as long as we don't have any unwanted contact. And we've also decided to give the central lead the same treatment. I mean, why not go to town with the Christmas tree light effect? Now, we have made the leads. But this is the OEM distributor cab, which we'll swap out for the transparent one. For the sake of maximizing the flashing light effect. Okay, let's replace that and start the engine. The cab is in place, we're looking good. Time to start the engine. What's up? And there you have it. Now obviously with this lighting... It's amazing, but we can't see anything. Let's dim the lights a bit. Make it a bit darker in the room. And see what this looks like in those lighting conditions. Oh, that's a nice view. We can clearly tell that cylinder one is barely firing. I'm curious to know why that's the case. It's sort of off and on. Cylinder four and the central lead, those are firing stably. What about the distributor? Oh wow, the distributor... It's an actual lightning storm in there. I take it that's why cylinder number one is a bit off the mark. Also cylinder number two. The spark is behaving a bit weirdly. Like it's hitting the distributor housing. Seems to be hitting the mounting brackets or something. The internal resistance must be less than what's inside the lead. Which is why we're... seeing it running back and forth. Switch it off. Let's have a look at why that is. I think we'd better make these gaps a tad slimmer. The spark seems to be hitting this... the lower part of the rotor, where the mounting pin is located. I think that's what's happening. So I suggest we go ahead and narrow these gaps. Right, so that's apparently cylinder number one. Hmm, I thought this was three, but it's two. Okay, well... The point is we need to narrow the gaps in order to make operation a bit more stable. You can clearly see the sparks inside the distributor. They were like tiny lightning bolts. The transparent cap gives you an excellent view.
Okay, guys, we've reduced the... We've removed one of the wires with the intention of narrowing the gaps, therefore reducing the resistance, which in turn should help the engine run more stably. Okay, let's fire it up and see how it operates. Let her rip. Can somebody get the lights? Yeah, well, this changes everything. No, oh, wait, no. We're still seeing misfires. What is it with cylinder number one? And there's a misfire happening inside the distributor, right around the screw that's holding the rotor in place. I honestly don't quite understand why that is. I mean, the screw is to the side. Yet the spark is still able to reach it. It looks pretty nice. Like actual Christmas tree lights. I'm getting New Year's vibes here. And you can clearly see when it's misfiring. Cylinder 1 is still a bit out of it. And you've got that constant shine in the middle. Because that's where the entirety of the charge is going through. Then the rotor distributes the charge over the different cylinders. And yeah, this is quite a nice lighting situation we have here. The coil also seems to be malfunctioning, by the way. I can see a mighty spark, which is all over the place. As soon as it finds a weak spot, that's where it hits. We got a mighty coil, it generates mighty spark. It's all good. Glow and engine operation are on point. But what if I were to give it a bit of... If I can find the throttle in the dark. Can you give it some gas? The change of frequency results in a constant glow. So at idle, you can see at least some pulsing happening. But at higher revs, the frequency is obviously cranked up. And it appears to be a constant glow. In certain spots you see it, in others you don't. Interesting. Looks nice. Okay, so now to get an understanding, we want to increase the interval between the pulses. And that's going to require us setting a lower idle. Okay, fire it up. Get the lights! Okay, so now you can see how the charge isn't constantly going through the leads, only during certain moments. I mean, we already understood that. But now it's more obvious. At such low revs, you can clearly see the charge whenever it goes through the leads. Yeah, take a look at that. Look at the light flickering. You've got a constant charge in the middle because that's going to all four cylinders. Very nice. And so there you have it. Now let's bring the revs up. Barely seeing any pauses now. I mean to say we're not seeing any interruption in the charge.
Okay, guys, we were successfully able to make us some custom ignition leads, and the whole thing looked pretty... I mean, especially with the lights off, it was pretty spectacular. You can just sit there looking at it. It ain't fire, but it's still pretty mesmerizing. This was super cool. And the best part about it... You could clearly tell wherever you had misfiring happening. Well, the transparent distributor cap also allows you to see that. But this gives you 107% understanding. Cylinder number one seemed to constantly be a bit unwell. We even tried several different plugs on it. But no matter what we did, it wasn't in it the full 107%. But overall, the experiment was a success, and these were some pretty cool results. You should try this out. This is something that'll impress almost anybody. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.